Hello everyone, this is JavaScript beginner tutorial series number 32 and this series you are going to learn this JavaScript filter array method which is filter so how it's worth the filter function so we're going to do that example and we're going to do the practical about there so let's start this video right now here okay now let's try to understand first the what is JavaScript filter so array filter method filter function how it's worth basically for the filter function first I'm going to take in array which is we have the variable inside of this array is age, and we have the element about this sum of the ages i take this 10 23 19 17 and 20 about it so for that i'm going to take another variable which is where adult is we're going to check in that adult is if which is adult is means it is 18 equal or more than 18 so it will be an adult age category so for that we're going to do the function and calculation about it and this is ages this will be equal to adult age or it can be more than adult is so it means it's the ages need to be smaller than 18 sorry it is need to equal 18 or bigger than 18 so then it will be pass an array and for that we have the function about the filter function this function name so this filter function will be when the checking this in this array element and when they get this exactly the matching condition about it and when it's get that element then it will be take this all about the element about it it will be creating new array and it will be print this out so we are going to do the practically about it so let's back to our coding studio okay, here you can see i've opened my visual code studio i have added the basic html file one there so now i'm going to creating a file which is our js folder and i'm going to creating a file name is filter.js so this file name is filter.js then we just need to hiding the left side of the window over here now i'm gonna remove this one again here and this is the index.html file now i need to connect this file so first of all i have to take the directory of js then i'm gonna searching for the filter.js file and it was connected successfully now we need to open up a filter.js file this is a filter.js file we have connected successfully now we're going to open the browser in our browser over here so i'm gonna open with the live server and you can see the browser over here this is basic text about it so we have successfully run our index.html to our browser now we're going to do the practically about it so for that first of all i need to take a variable about it so i'm gonna take a variable and then bar so i'm gonna take in the array element creating an array which is is equal to i'm gonna take a square bracket inside of this i'm gonna writing some ages about it so i'm gonna writing 15 50 12 and 19 2 and 17 so i have written some of the variable inside of this an array element i've created now i'm gonna paint this one so i need to take the document okay not this one document dot write and inside of this i'm gonna painting this is so i'm gonna take it as is and now i just need to make it comment cannot comment is terminated now save this file and you can see that as is displaying over here so let me make this little bit up you okay, cannot that this is perfect i think and this is we have printed this our array element so now we're going to do that condition about so for that i'm gonna take a new variable which is b and inside of this i'm gonna take going to storing this this i'm gonna checking this one for as is which is we have created a variable of this array element and then i'm gonna write in this the filter method the filter and we're going to take it the function and inside of this this is basically work for the function inside of it but default this filter this is not work for that we need to create a function about it so i'm gonna create a function which is sick adult okay i create a function name here now just terminate this line now i'm gonna print it this one for our document dot p for that i'm gonna add a break line sum of here okay it is plus and then i'm gonna take a some of the text break line it is beer so i'm gonna take in this one for the two times so that it can be make a two lines of break over there so i'm gonna take in this line over here and inside of this blue of this or checking adult function i'm pasting it and the last i need to change this variable name which is b that we have mentioned here 
now save this file this will be not done because we haven't we have this function about here but we haven't called this function right now so we need to call this function so i'm gonna make it a capital so that it look good so this is not running so we need to make a function inside of it so below there i'm gonna make a function this is function and then the function name which is check adult and then i'm gonna writing this the return about this ages and this one so we're gonna writing it ages and then we're going to do the open the curly braces and inside of this we are going to return the value of this or is this function and and when we put this value inside of this is this it will be check the condition so for that i'm going to return this value so the return is okay return is and it will be check so equal to or greater than it will be 18 Okay, we have a small mistakes there is a s this will be need only is so we have successfully made it and save it and you can see that it was created new array element which is 15 and 19 so inside of this value when it was checking that the adult checking when it is the adult condition will be matching here when it is equal to 18 or bigger than 18 then it will be take that of array element and it will be created new array and it will be print this out by this line so there you can see that 50 was matches which is 18 bigger and this 19 also the bigger than 18 so this was printed this array but this 12 and the 2 this is not in continue matching this condition about it this is smaller than 18 so this will be not include that array element so for that i'm gonna be doing some changes about there so here i'm gonna make it 100 and save this file so now you can see the 50 100 and 19 and i'm gonna change this one I'm going to make it as a 20 and save this now we can see this one has been successfully taken over here this 50 100 19 and 20 so this four value is matching this condition about it for this or this error checking condition so this was matches and it was printed this a new array element inside of it so I hope you clear about that the filters of I skip array method which is filter function how it's basically work and how it's create a new array when this previous array and matching that condition and this all of the value will be taken it will be created a new array so i hope you understand clearly about this so if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this tutorial please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us